My style has definitely evolved so much over the past five, six years. I'd say athleisure is definitely my go-to. I'm always comfort over everything, but I think working with a stylist the past couple years has definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone just to be a little more edgy and fun with the styles that I do try. Hi Teen Vogue, I'm Lord DIY and this is how I dress the part at home. Today I'm gonna to be showing you everything I do and wear over the course of a day. Good morning, it is around 8.30 a.m. I just rolled out of bed. I typically sleep in like a bra top, so I'm going to grab my robe first so I can feed my dog, and then we'll come back upstairs and do a little activewear change. I'm not the type to snooze once the alarm goes off. I'm on my phone and then get up, but I don't ever go back to sleep. Oh my gosh, early morning zooms, early morning zooms, early morning zooms, oh my gosh, Baba, Baba! This panda robe I got from Forever 21 like three or four years ago and it is so soft and plushy. Cozy robe acquired, we wearing it. It is breakfast time, I'm gonna get some food in me before I work out and let's feed Moose. Moose, are you hungry? Moose eats healthier than we do. Gourmet moose slop. For breakfast, I'm pretty boring and I have the same thing almost every day unless my boyfriend decides to make breakfast for me, which is very rare. I typically have plain Greek yogurt with fruit and a little bit of honey. Honestly, this is not like an aesthetic breakfast at all. Like she doesn't look like an Instagram ready thing, but it's super good and honestly keeps me full all morning. Moose has gotten really good at catching things. Okay, ready, Bubba? Ready? Job. If I don't get my workout in the moment after I wake up and eat breakfast, it's absolutely not happening. So usually if I can squeeze it in my schedule, it's around 9 a.m. When I work out, I'm usually wearing either Gymshark, Aloe Yoga, or Lululemon, and it's typically either shorts or yoga pants and a sports bra. So let's grab some workout stuff. Um, this drawer is in rough shape. These are some aloe shorts, so we'll do those. And then this is a white box bra top. Guys, honestly, shout out the sports bra. This thing makes my boobs look amazing. White box, come through. Welcome to the tour of my super messy garage. This is obviously where all of our storage is, but honestly, I'm just so grateful to have weights and stuff and this treadmill. I went through a phase about six months ago where I decided that my gym membership was way too expensive. I canceled it, invested in a treadmill, which I am so lucky to have right now. These are the Adidas that I've been using to just like train and do my gym workouts. They're in pretty rough shape, but honestly, I have gotten some major use out of them. This is the Nordic Track, and honestly, this thing is so bomb, so I usually just sit my phone up here oh hey reflection and try and do about half an hour of uphill walking um, before I do a little ab circuit I've been uphill walking it's one of my favorite cardio activities because your girl hates cardio but I also love resistance bands and just like low free weights that are in 5 10 and 20 pounds oh my god there is no AC in here and it is 95 degrees out today it is hot as soon as I finish my workout, I typically hop in the shower and then depending on what's next on my schedule, I'm either in comfy clothes that I can just answer emails on the couch in or if I'm shooting, I'll get fully ready, but it all depends on what's next on my schedule. Oh my God, it's finally caffeine time. Oh my gosh, also peep the mug collection, mostly just moose mugs, honestly. <laughs> Okay, honestly, our closet is in real good shape right now. Like, she looks cute. She's pretty organized and clean. This is Jeremy's side, and his side is just like so mature and organized. And then my side is just like colorful chaos. You know what though, all my hangers are the same. It's all pink hangers, so at least I have that. Here is a quick little shoe collection. I just realized that this whole little section right here are some of my faves. These are my go-to lace-up super platform black boots. These are from Steve Madden and they are my all-time faves. They're so scuffed up. I feel like I should order a backup pair now for in preparation if something ever happens to them, but these are just like my go-to. A pair of classic black Doc Martens and these are the soft leather ones. Highly recommend these ones over the more plasticky ones. They were so much easier to break in. Also, these leopard print booties are one of my faves. I feel like if you're wearing just all black, these make the outfit so much nicer. My fashion weakness is absolutely sneaky. My sneaker collection is like 
a little bit out of control. I probably have six pairs of Air Force Ones in different colors and styles. It's it's a little excessive, but I love Nike in general, and then I do have a few pair of designer sneakers. Guys, I miss wearing shoes so much. These are probably one of like my cutest sneakers and the biggest splurge I've ever made. I'm also low-key kind of scared to wear them because they're so cute. I probably buy new clothes once a month, not like a crazy haul of things, but I definitely pick up a few new pieces, especially right now. I have been buying so many pairs of sweatpants. It's alarming, but I'd say once a month is probably pretty average. I typically don't plan outfits in advance, uh, especially while we're home so much, but if I am filming that day, I usually have a little bit of an idea of what I want to wear on the top. The great part about filming is that you rarely have to dress on the bottom, so I usually have a top picked out in my mind the night before. I think this is the vibe for today. It's this really cute, just like Nike set with shorts. Here is the final outfit. Uh, super comfy, super casual, and now we are officially about to caffeinate. Hey, Moose. I literally feel like as soon as I start filming in this room, he's just like, hello, I like to be in the vlog. When I'm working at home, I'm either here in my DIY room or I'm like a really, really bad couch worker. Terrible for posture, but I can't help it. I know this looks kind of ridiculous, computer in front of a computer, but I uh, have been trying to not work on the couch recently, so I've been trying to move over to my desk, which I rarely use, but I've got some emails to answer and I am going to enjoy you. A work day in quarantine right now is definitely different every single day. I'm still shooting at home, which is pretty normal. I've been doing a ton of Zoom meetings and it's been something where you're just kind of like dressed from like here to here and that's about it. <laughs> For lunch, I'm a big fan of avocados in a bunch of different ways. So I'm just having a piece of toast with avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning, which is literally the bomb. I could put it on anything and then a fried egg on top. I am filming an IGTV today on how I do my everyday hairstyle. I usually film videos around noon, so it's actually based off of when the sun comes over the top of my house onto the other side so that the sun comes through these windows and gives really good light just because I do shoot with natural lighting. So this is what my setup is going to look like today. Um, I'm actually gonna turn the camera 90 degrees so it shoots vertical for IGTV. And then to the left is the DIY closet and it's just like DIY supplies on DIY supplies. When I plan a DIY video, I typically have the end project in mind, the materials that I need, making sure that I have everything. It's definitely been pretty crazy getting DIY supplies right now. I luckily am a DIY supplies hoarder, but I also love using thrift stores as a source for really unique DIY materials. During a YouTube shoot, depending on what I'm shooting, I usually stay in the same outfit for the entire video. Same with IGTV because it's usually shorter videos and sometimes just vlogs. I'm really only wearing that same outfit, maybe with one other outfit change if I'm like painting or spray painting or doing something DIY-ish that's a little more messy. And specifically if I'm filming in this room, I'm always thinking about what's going to match the colors that are behind me. So I usually stick with like neutrals and colors that are pretty complementary to the colors in my background. The filming process typically starts with a brainstorming session, figuring out what you guys want to see and what I'll enjoy making and what I have materials for. The next step is to figure out how to actually execute that project and from there it's the filming process, the editing process, the editing graphics and the color correcting and then going live to you guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my IGTV. From start to finish, the process probably takes a total of 20-ish hours, depending on how long the video is. I feel like this vlog has been just me getting cuter and cuter as the day goes on. Anyways, the hair is done, the IGTV is shot, and I feel like today just like, I, I totally forgot that I have to upload a video today, so that's happening now. All right, my video is officially live, zero views. I'm trying to get outside at least once a day. I'm lucky enough to have a backyard that I can sit and read a book in or play Animal Crossing or whatever. And my dog also goes for a walk once a day. So it's a good excuse for me to get some fresh air and some vitamin D instead of just cooping myself up inside every single day. I'd say I stop working around five or six. My boyfriend works a typical nine to five. So I kind of just finish up work whenever he does. I just got a few new tie-dye sets by a friend uh, whose brand is by Sammy Ryan and they are so cute and so oversized and so soft. So that's been something I've been absolutely living in. We've officially done an outfit change into something a little comfier. This is just a t-shirt from Target, I think. And these are truly the comfiest sweats that I have ever worn. They're super, super cute. My goal on a day-to-day 
day-to-day -day basis is to be in sweatpants for as much of the day as possible. So it's kind of just been like the overarching theme of my quarantine. It is dinner time now and I changed actually just into the matching hoodie for the full set. So like comfy levels, V high right now. Dinner time is typically when my boyfriend and I both finish up work. So we usually spend that time catching up and just recapping our days. I do most of the cooking in our household, which is totally fine because my boyfriend and I exchange chores. So I do all the cooking and then he cleans up dinner. Again, thank God I am not a food blogger, <laughs> but come through Turkey Burger. Also, if you don't have an air fryer, highly, highly recommend. My boyfriend and I are a big fan of just like movies and TV series. So Money Heist, it's a show that we've been obsessed with right now. So that's kind of our go-to at night. Honestly, all of my free time right now is being spent on my freaking Nintendo Switch playing Animal Crossing. So this is basically the uh, position for the rest of the night. Oh, someone's getting sleepy. We're gonna watch another episode of Money Heist. I also have my Nintendo Switch ready for Animal Crossing, especially when Moose lays like this. I kind of just rest it on the top of his head like this. I probably go to sleep between 10 p.m. and midnight. It's definitely a little bit later now that we're in quarantine. Sometimes I'm falling asleep on the couch from 10 till midnight and then I make my way to bed, but it's definitely a little more flexible now. Before bed, I try and aim for like a three to four to sometimes five step skincare routine. So I take my makeup off using the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. These are from Costco and honestly, I swear by them. Kinship Naked Papaya Cleanser. This stuff smells so freaking good. And then for my toner, I use the True Botanicals Nutrient Toner. And then this is a TikTok product that has been so viral and honestly, I've been loving. It's the True Skin Serum C. And then I finished with the Drunk Elephant Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. When I wash my face, I have this really ridiculous like panda fluffy headband that just holds all of your hair back. It's like a little ridiculous looking, but it's so effective that I can't give it up. Yeah, it's a look. Honestly, when I get super annoyed of my hair, even just like during the day, I'll pop this thing on because it is just like, it's an instant fix. It really is. I'm usually up on my own, just like body clock around 8 a.m. So if I do set an alarm, I definitely only set one. Before I go to bed, I usually do like one last scroll through my social media. It's definitely like a social media addiction for sure. I'm totally aware, but that's probably the last thing I do before um, my boyfriend and I just like chat and recap our days before bed. I definitely thrive on routine. I feel like I feel the most in control of just like everything that's happening when I'm sticking to a schedule and I have some normalcy. So like still being able to film and vlog and make regular dinners and walk my dog definitely keeps me grounded. I am headed to bed now. It is just after 11. I feel like this lighting is just not it after your skincare routine. I feel like all my blemishes are just like lit up right now because of the products, but hopefully that means they're working. I sleep in my underwear, so this is where I leave you. Okay, bye guys, good night.